probably the most significant part of our game last night I haven't even mentioned. What was that? That's the fact we didn't turn the football over. That's right. Yet. That's right. That's the, right. Uh, you, you took the option here. Uh, we you did. Won a toss, it's the right? first, first, we won a toss and elected to make our decision at half. And uh, kick off to Sam, and, and Sam the Ed is one of the finest kickoff return people in the country. I, here's a reverse that uh, they run, and we defend it real well. And you're going to see uh, David King make a play right here. Well, and, and we, you know, we had the ball on the ground two or three times last night and didn't come up with it. That's right. Coach Wallace told Davis, and now, David, you made a play on the reverse. They're going to come back and try to burn you with the pass off of it. And sure enough, in the fourth quarter, they did. Sure did. Jimmy Warren made a great play to come across and save the touchdown. Second and seven here at the 45. That was a fine play by Gerald Williams and Harold Hallman and uh, Ben Thomas. We rotated our middle people. Uh, Greg Carr, I think, was our leading tackler last night and, and made a lot of plays. Jeff Jackson looked like he played good last night. Going the other way at the 18-yard line. We got a good surge off the line of scrimmage in Ed West and Pat Arrington and, and uh, Jeff Lott come off the ball real well. Here you're going to see a fine block by Lionel and speed by Bo and that speed right there is, is uh, you know, you can't, you can't account for that. He just outruns three of them to the corner. Procedure penalty on this play and stop uh, the drive. We had too many of that. And, you know, uh, that ball right there should have been caught. Uh, we had too many little five-yard penalties and coaching mistakes that uh, I just, we can't have against a, a, a stronger opponent. That's a good way for Lewis to start this well, season. Well, I thought, I thought our kicking game held up real well under the conditions last night. And Southern Mississippi has really got an outstanding kicking game. That was Donnie Humphrey making the play. This is the third down play here. There's Doug Smith and Donnie and Greg Carr and Tommy Powell. I was excited about the way Tommy Powell played. I made, he made a few mistakes. That, a, you, that guy right there is like an eel. You can't, you, if you, you get your hands on him, you can't hold him. Uh, Maybe we're not putting the pad close enough to him. They have to punt going the other way. Randy comes back and hits Chris Woods on a little stop route. Two first downs later. And it's Collis Camel running inside, and we basically played two teams offensively and two teams defensively last night. We didn't substitute our running backs quite as much as I wanted to, but... That's Bayless. We, uh, we had hoped that, that uh, we had a plan going into the game and, and tried to stick with it as close as possible, but we didn't get the ball to to bow quite enough and and um, we didn't get to play all the running backs enough because we didn't have the ball enough. We didn't have the ball but about 60 something plays and we hope to have it in the 70s. Had a fine play by Ben Thomas there and uh, again you can see that little quarterback. Here's a guy that made some things happen. We, You know that was the first I guess college football game that Kevin Green's ever played in the walk on. He's uh, as Donnie. Uh, Doug Smith causing the fumble, and, and Greg Carr comes up with it, and Donnie and the defense is giving the offense the ball at the 12-yard line, and, and, and that is a big, big play. I guess that was the last play of the first quarter, wasn't right. it? Right. And come back, and Lionel runs inside down to around the six, seven-yard line. Here comes the play. We're going to take it. Bo gets the wrong knee. He should have got the outside knee instead of the inside knee. But anyway, uh, Randy makes a pitch, and Lionel makes a run, and... Actually, didn't get it quite far out there as we should have gotten it, but... Uh, the talent coach, will out. <laughs> well, Coach Crow coaches Randy is, is, is when there's... It, uh, that guy right there, if he's not a, a fine human being, there's never been one. He'd be illegal he, if he was 6'2". Oh, goodness, he's, he's something now. Here's one of the plays that hurt us in the ball game. We had him trapped back there, big play on for the defense, and it just reverses on us and comes up for a big play for them on a broken play. They've made two first downs now in this drive. Well, they're they going to come back, and, and we actually have a missed assignment there. Uh, it allows them to get outside with the, with the option. And uh, But we we stop them. We come back. That was a great play right there by Doug Smith and Quincy Williams. Uh, you let that 275-pounder roam around in your backfield back there, you're going to end up with some problems. <laughs> the... Uh, Dow Altman and Donnie and it's third down. You can see we're we're getting pressure on it. We had him in a look like in a in a web and he got out of it. Back to the line of scrimmage though, so they Jeff, have to kick the field goal. Jeff Jackson makes a play. Thirty-eight and yarder, gets it uh, just gets in. That's a little kid named Clark that uh, from up at Huntsville, Alabama. They transferred from Auburn. Actually, and is an outstanding field goal kicker. I know his daddy, Fritz Clark. Went to school with him. It's uh, Bo on a kind of a little old. 
counter play that we run, and he gets six or seven yards with it. There's Pat Washington in at quarterback now from down in Mobile, and Pat, we, we, we had planned to play him on the third series, but I didn't know we were going to end up with it down on the 15-yard line. Pat, we get a pass interference call right there, and I thought last night we might have got a, a good call there, but looking at it on tape, it was definitely pass interference, and as Bo running, that's strong running right there. Sure is. Steve Wallace and Randy Stokes and I guess probably Ben Tamarella in center. Played Ben and Yan Cowett last night, both at center, and I imagine they had a good time blocking on Bayless. That's, that's Tamarella in there mm -hmm. now. And, Tough uh, running. I ain't got fullbacks block well last night. Tommy A.G. and Collis Campbell. I know that here's, a, here's a fine block by Lionel, one by A.G., and of course uh, Ed West and Chris Woods had the inside wall off. Good block right there by as Tommy A.G. making that block, and the other guy actually falls over him, and so you get in a foot race with Bo, or you're going to lose. Bob Hicks had a block on that play, too. Here's a, here's a halfback pass right before the half, and Chuck Clanton plays it real well. Goes up, and Lips is, uh, wasn't as big a factor last night. I, our defensive staff had a great game plan for him. Had a fine play by Tommy Powell. We, uh, they really hurt us, picked us last year when we were blitzing and so forth. And uh, Coach Wallace and Wayne Hall and Frank Orgel and Joe Witt just did a tremendous job with the game plan and kind of took them out of the option game and, and took a short passing game away from them. And uh, the plays they hurt us on really were plays that uh, broken play and, and, the, and they kind of fooled us on the reverse pass in the fourth quarter. You intended just to run out the clock here, but uh, some well, things we wanted, happens. Well, we wanted to run it out, and they didn't want us to run it out. It wasn't but, I think, 15, 16 seconds on the clock, and they called time out to try to stop us. So I talked to Coach Crow about it. We decided we'd better run the sweep to try to use up a little more time. Bo gets a block there. And as Bo makes a block at the line of scrimmage, now I want you to watch this. We don't have but one play of it, but here's Lionel, and you're talking about a sea of blue. He looked like he, looked like he was riding a wave right there. <laughs> And Bo comes back into the picture there and takes him into the end zone, and he had made a block at the line of scrimmage. Randy Campbell was out in front of him, Jeff Lott, and I'm not sure who all the rest of them were, but you're talking about a thing of beauty. And, of course, we had a, a clipping penalty that, that uh, nullified the touchdown. It's about the 10-yard line, I guess. But we do get to try a field goal at the end, but we don't make it, so we're going 14-3 to three ahead, and... Uh, if we could have, if we could have gone in with that touchdown, then you know the contest the outcome might have been different from a score. But uh, I thought, to, you know, at that point we had, had played pretty well, and it's just a matter of keeping on doing what we were doing. We'll be back in just a minute. You could tell toward the end of the second quarter that uh, Southern was wearing down some. The Auburn depth was uh, beginning to uh, have an effect on. Them. Well, you. You, we, with the schedule that we've got, uh, we've got to have, uh, we've got to have that depth, and we've got to play them. Uh, I actually would have liked to have played a few more people last night, but I felt like it's important to play the, the guys that are going to be playing in the games and the ones we got to win with in this first game, to to get them in condition and find, you know, find out what our personality is. There's a fine block by Bo Jackson right there, and Brandon pitches to Lionel and. He makes uh, all eight or ten yards in. I think Lionel rushed for 177 yards last night, or 72 yards, I guess. I thought this was pass interference right here. I think he kind of hit like Clayton. Bunk, yeah. well, you know, and, and I thought last night that that was a pass interference. Now, uh, Lewis Colbert does a great job right there. We have a low snap. Does a great job of getting the ball off, and our coverage was great. And uh, Lewis. Lips didn't get a chance to run back upon. I think he ran back two for seven yards. Fine play right there by Kevin Green and Dow Altman and, and Gerald Williams. Well, these were two good defenses slugging it out this second well, half. You I know? tell you, they they uh, they certainly didn't find play right here by Nat Caesar. Nat is a junior from Ballast to Georgia, and he's just gotten better and better. And when when I first came to Auburn, he was weak and kind of puny looking, and he's grown up to be a man. That was a third and, and eleven play there. Donnie, Donnie Humphrey and and teammates. Well, you, you can see Southern Mississippi is not, you know, they're playing too. They're playing hard and coming hard. And Here's a fine run right here by uh, Collis Campbell, and I believe if Collis had that to do over again, I mean, he may take that one all the way to the end zone. That was third and eight. He slipped That's a fine him. option right there by uh, 
Pat Washington, Pat's a quarterback man. Pat, the first two drives he had last night, he took him in for a touchdown, took him in for a field goal, and as Mike Mann coming in and holding for the uh, extra point. I would like to play Mike last night, and we could have played him late in the ball game, but Pat hadn't been out there, I think, two or three times, and and uh, he just need he just needed that game experience. I, as Arthur Johnson made the tackle on that play, and of course Arthur was one of the three freshmen that we played in the game last night. We played Arthur Johnson and Trey Gaines and and uh, Brent Fullwood. As uh, Donnie and company again, as a Quincy Williams putting pressure on him, he get the ball out, and Jimmy Warren not so out of bounds. first down though. <laughs> we get the ball back, and here's Randy on the option. He's pitching the ball again, and we'll make slips a little <laughs> tackle right there. And throws that corner. I'll tell, I'll tell you. you, I you know people talk about. Uh, throwing the football, that little old five or six yard pass that those running backs take <laughs> from a quarterback. That's, that's a pass. Huh? Well, that's exciting <laughs> to me. I just, you know, when you got that execution and blocking on the corner, that was that was a mental mistake right there. We know we got to give them two yards to catch a ball. It was a fair catch, and we just. Uh, that's a new rule. You can you can see the Duckworth. You know, I I got to admire him because he was harassed and beat and battered all last night. There's Tommy Powell making a play. Third and two coming right here now. Watch. <clears throat> Good play right there. There's Donnie Humphrey and John Daly and Freddie Jones and Pat Thomas and a lot of new faces, a lot of new names all the folks haven't heard of. There's a great block right there by I, I'm not sure whether that was Bo and I know that Collis Campbell blocked the safety and Lionel got the pitch and made a nice gain and here we go again. As Bo running the sweep, and they did a better job of defending the sweep the second half, and we couldn't. Third and four right here. There's a great block right there. I know who made that one. That was Tim Jesse, and you know Lionel is, is just un, uncanny to the things he can do. At the Southern 43. This is a great play right here. we just kind of been waiting for that one and we knew it was set up and just a matter of when we wanted to call it and execute it. Coach Crow called it and Randy and Bo executed and the offensive line protected and as Jeff Park right there, he was the other receiver on it and you kind of read the cornerback and if he takes a tight end, you throw to the running back. If he takes a running back, you throw to the tight end and one of them going to be open. Here comes a play that they fooled us with here. Now, Lips is throwing off a reverse pass. Jimmy Warren comes across and makes a play and saves a touchdown. Now, I talk to the players all the time about playing full speed and going 100 percent and doing it on every down. And as a case of Jimmy Warren playing 100 percent because it was all the way across the field from where he's supposed to be. They have five shots inside the 10 here. This is not a critical touchdown, but no, it certainly it's, is good practice. Well, I think that I think it was good for our defense to play that. Uh, this series down here on the goal line. We got some goal line defense and you can see them coming there trying to make something happen and we got good tight coverage and David King makes a nice play and look at them right there. That that secondary, I, they are, they love each other and they have a good time playing. There's Tommy Powell and Greg Carr and got pressure to, to Duckworth. There's Brent Fullwood now, the freshman from <laughs> St. Cloud, Florida. It'd been an exciting thing if he'd have broke out of that. Now, I'd like to see the foot race with, with him and some of the rest of them. And that kind of winds it down. It's a 24-3 win. It's a, it's a, I think, a good win for us, Phil, to, to start the season. It was a tough, hard-nosed football team we were playing that has a lot of talented athletes, and we got to look at our football team, and obviously looking at it, we got a lot of room for improvement. We're not 